Hi, welcome. This is a very special occasion. As you can see on this uh, website here, we are going to create our thousands video. So video number thousand. I let it sink in. It took me also by surprise. When you go to YouTube and of course also our websites, right? You get a lot of information and in the video you see here is a lot of information contained. What is Arc Linux? What is it about? There are things that I say in this video, this video here, that I will not say in this video. We're making now number thousands. So the what, the who we are, the where, the want, the why, etc. So still relevant. But what I want to address in this video, number thousand, is some insights. What is Arc Linux? Well, first off, Arc Linux, scrap Arco. It's Linux. That's always the message been, that has always been the message on my videos. Guys, stop thinking in boxes. It is still Linux overall. There is Linux, there is Mac, there is Windows, right? And I have learned so much information from other distros, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and so on. Figuring out stuff there that I could implement in Arco Linux. So stop thinking in boxes. That's one thing. Solutions you find online will apply, can apply, may apply on Arch Linux. So no limitations there. Don't limit yourself. For instance, the kernel, kernel.org, we could go there. The Linux kernel is in all these Linux distributions. And okay, they're built maybe differently in one or the other, but basically we're all using the same Linux kernel. That's one of the things that stop thinking out of the box. If Firefox is developed, it will be Firefox on Solus, on Antergos, Manjaro, etc. Right? It's gonna be everywhere the same. It's gonna be Firefox. If there are configurations you find somewhere for a particular application, then you can help yourself by reading GitHub configs of somebody, dot files, etc. Yes, it will help yourself analyze and with some common sense deduct that's what I need to do. So the big message overall, we're still Linux, okay? Second message, Arco Linux is Arch Linux based. Uh, three, four years ago, I started with Arch Linux. Very small steps, baby steps, right? Because you stand, you start in this black screen, and you wants to do everything. You want, you need to do. You type everything and know everything, and so on. Before that, of course, I had some prior um, Linux knowledge, like Ubuntu or Antarctic or Manjaro, Linux Mint, Solus. You can check all these out on ericdupois.pe. But at some point in time, I did fall in love with Arch Linux, and why? Arch Linux, as a teacher, and some of you know that already, that's my profession as a teacher, I love the wiki. Yes, it's sometimes not complete, but it's still the most vast library of knowledge I found, except maybe some of the Ubuntu, um, well, I mean, there's a lot of information on the Ubuntu uh, forums, but this Arch wiki, is structured and precise and ordered and of course in teaching that's super important so the wiki well I fell in love even though it was very hard in the beginning like I said baby steps to figure out how to get my system to work on Arch Linux right okay I fell also in love because of the fact that Arch Linux gives us a diversity it means with, with diversity, I mean, I can have Plasma, but I can also have XFCE, and why not have BSPWM, etc. So Arc Linux has now 13 desktops, and that's the fun for me, the learning process. I can have 
I don't have this limitation. This this blocking, no, just, just Windows, right? Just Windows. No, no, I can have different desktops, all kind of desktops. And with only at 13, there's more desktops out there. So the diversity, wow. The modularity is the third thing I like. That means that you can have, for instance, another display manager. We now use LightDM overall, but we can use SDDM and so many others. So I can use one module, get it out, plug in another module and it works. Yes, awesome. Another thing I fell in love with. The fact that it's stable and fast and secure that I have the feeling that it's reliable when I press the button, it's gonna boot up. It has been the case for the last three, four years. Why would anybody say anything else? That's my experience, of course, a personal one. It gives me also a freedom of choice, an enormous freedom of choice. I can choose so many things. I have this feeling and that feelings are important. I'll get to that in later on. Arc Linux wants to convey feelings to you as well. So the feeling, the freedom, choose this, choose that, and just make your own puzzle, your own mosaic, if that's an English word at all. So puzzle it together that you say, this is what I like, the freedom. It's of course also cutting edge in the sense that when something is new, it's, it's released, it's very fast and it comes to us first in the testing repo, which is great, let them test it. And then it comes to us and we have a very cutting edge or fast uh, delivery of all the new packages, which is super, right? Another thing I fell in love with is the, the forum. The forum of Arch Linux gives us solutions, gives us many people with lots of knowledge, more knowledge than me, that provide, look, if you have that piece of hardware and that piece of hardware, do this and this and that, and there are lots of uh, topics in there that are marked as solved, right? Go check it out. Think out of the box. There is, of course, the Arch Linux forum, and we'll get to that here, right? We'll get to that. But we're just a few guys in here. Arch Linux has lots more guys. And yes, uh, do check that out because it's still Arch Linux. Arch Linux is based on Arch Linux. Then, Again, an urge to repeat myself, teaching, right? Repetition. Think out of the box. The forum of Arch Linux is great. The forum of Arch Linux, we do our best. But the forum of Ubuntu has helped me so many times in fixing Arch Linux. Think out of the box. And last but not least, guys, don't worry if things go wrong. It goes wrong here as well. Linux is still about trial and error. And then you learn and you say, oh, it's this way to do it. And that's done. We know it. Second point in the speech, <laughs> in the video, is the goals. What are the goals of Arch Linux? There are a few things that I consider as an important goal. It's not ordered in a way that the one is more important than the other. But of course, we're it's, it's a personal thing. We created our Linux to have a fully themed, fully tweaked system. When we install it, it's up and running, wallpaper change, color change, icon change, done, work. That's the point. We wanna have a system that's up and running in five minutes and done, update, done, right? Con in uh, contrast, with Arch Linux ISO, when you, and we want you to go and learn about Arch Linux installation, that's in phase five, we'll talk about it later. But in contrast with that, we have the Arch Linux installation where we have a black screen, you need to set everything up, and then it's, it's a working system, great, but it's not themed and tweaked yet. So all the icons and the themes and the cursors, but also all the very little minute changes that we've made to G calculator and to uh, lots and lots and lots of um, applications. It's two years now since Arch Linux exists. I mean, there has been a lot of configurations. It's all in there. It's in the packages of Arch Linux. It's not gonna be on Arch Linux. 
So that's what we want to have, want to achieve personally, have a great system. And that's our Arco Linux ISO, the one with XFC Openbox i3. That's what we call the big one. That's the one that we use and work on all the time. Okay. Second goal we have is we want to promote Arch Linux. Yeah, sure. So Arch Linux and its wiki, but maybe also the AOR, which is a fantastic tool, and the forum. So we want to promote Arch Linux in general. The third thing is, well, this thousand videos. I mean, go and stroll through it. I mean, it's actually, like we say sometimes for fun, joining the university, the Arco Linux University, ALU. There is such an amount of knowledge in these videos about so many things that you can apply it as well, think out of the box to any Linux system, all right? So we want you, we want to share the knowledge. We want to um, show you guys that knowledge is important and you want you to grow, have a uh, way to actually grow into phases. So phase one, phase two, phase three, phase five, phase six, etc. So take a look at this uh, particular page, additions here. It's important to us that you start from scratch, never heard about Linux, trying to learn about Linux and gradually moving to a phase that you say, whoa, after two years, I've learned a lot. That's also a point. Joining university, okay? Sharing the knowledge, getting a guide, having learning phases and moving forward in the world of Linux. Number four for me, is I want my users, our users, to be self-reliant. It means if you get stuck, you can solve it. If you, you get unstuck, like they say, right? You can repair your system and Arch Linux can do that for you. There are tutorials on there. I've been there, you know, a system that crashes and say, oh, what did I do? Oh no, I deleted this or, or installed that driver, everything black. Made tutorials about it. You can actually fix your Arch Linux, which is awesome, of course, gives you another feeling of security, of stability, of certainty. And that's what we want as well, to convey that kind of feeling. And that's because Arch is Arch, right? Another goal we like to, and it's more also maybe a feeling, that you're never alone, right? We have our Discord, we have forums, and we have all the social media, but there are so many times people ask me something. What happens? An article, a video, there you go. Sharing the knowledge. So basically we want also to provide some kind of consultancy for you. A teacher that's already there, that knows it and shows you how to, to do the things you want to achieve. So if there is an issue, the teacher is on his way. Another goal is that you actually get you this far that you say after some years and years of work maybe or a few months, I don't know, you have uh, the time free and you just venture your way in the world of, world of Arc Linux. But at some point in time that you say, let's go to phase, uh, pop, 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 here it is, no, Arc Linux D, closed it, yes, I closed it. So if you go to Arc Linux D, we'll go into the websites later. Here is your phase five. One of our goals is that f at some point in time, you say, you know what? I'm feeling very stable, secure in this Arch Linux thing. You know what? I'm gonna install Arch Linux and do it this way and learn a lot about all these pieces and, and, and packages and uh, applications that I can install and build it up from scratch to something like Arch Linux, right? Your own view on the matter how an operating system should be. So that's super interesting if we could get a beginner from coming from Windows, let's say, and getting him in a few years time to a phase that he says, no, I'm gonna go to phase five. I'm ending in an Arch Linux installation, finding all my way 
and maybe spice up my Arch Linux with some uh, elements from Arco that I like, this, this, and this piece of the puzzle, and that's it, and nothing more. And I have my own system the way I like it. That would be awesome. That's the end result. All right, so Arco Linux. First thing was Linux, it is still Linux. Second thing was the goals, those were the goals. Third thing, choices. You need to choose, yes? We have here elements and it's still open here. Let's go over here, that's maybe easier. There are three projects and it's all important to know how it came to be. Like I said, Arc Linux ISO is the three desktops, XFC, Openbox, i3, it's what we call the big ISO. That's what we're working on daily, right? This is where we develop on, okay? Then came the, inf the, the feedback, okay, great system and all that, but and then the but came, right? But comes. And then, the, for instance, one of the things was, okay, uh, we'd like to get a minimal kind of installation. And later on, we decide what we put on there. So, okay, what's important for you to know now is that there is actually just one ISO. You'll see lots of ISOs in the future, but actually there is just one, just one. And that's the one of Arc Linux ISO. That's the base. Everything is a derivative, a ghost, an image, a mirror. It's this is the thing that's at the template. And then you say, well, you know what? In the Arc Linux D, I'm not gonna install the XFC. I'm not gonna install Openbox, nor i3, no Firefox, no Vivaldi, and so on. And what do you get? You get an ISO that's less, right? One gigabyte, it contains less. So that was a question from the people. The response was, let's create an Arc Linux D. You are being put into a black screen. You git clone something from the net. Let's say you wanna have XFCE, git clone, GitHub, XFCE, get it. You have scripts, run the scripts, you have XFCE. And the amount of scripts you run is up to you. To you. you can change the scripts because that's not the point that you should just run our scripts, change the scripts any way you like, because for instance, you may like Google Chrome and not Chromium, so change the scripts. Okay, so that's the result of that. And then we had another idea and I said, why not um, use our building process? So everything these guys needs to, need to be built, right? It's a script that we use. And at some point in time, we were confident enough to say, look, why not let people build it themselves? And then can, they can put LibreOffice on it. They can put this and that on it, whatever they want. And then again, you have, of course, a desktop. You choose for XFCE or BSPWM, etc. And you get, you build it yourself. So you, the B stands for build. It's a script, you edit a script and you run a script. That's it, that's super technical. No, it's really, it's, it's so simple, right? Just follow a few videos out there. It's super simple. How to build your own personal ISO. For me, yeah, when I look at this, I see in Arch Linux a big Lego box. It has lots of pieces and I put the pieces, you put the pieces together. In the B, you certainly are building it yourself. You're putting the pieces together. And that's the fun in it. You can actually change all things around, the freedom of it again, and the flexibility, modularity. That's where the fun is in Arch Linux, that you can just switch things around, choose another desktop environment, choose applications, choose conkeys, choose themes. This thing here I'm reading, that's all up to you. You decide what goes on there. So that's all about choices. That's number four. Number five is our way to choose to install it. The Arch Linux installation starts up in a black screen. Do your thing, right? Starting from scratch. 
The way we like to work in our clinics is work with an installer called Calamaris. And at this point in time, I'm making lots and lots uh, of tutorials all about Calamaris. So we're starting the Calamaris series. And it's a graphical environment. You can, well, you see already the picture here, but uh, let's stop it somewhere graphical. So you see what it is. It's a graphical environment. It has some uh, windows here. It's a welcome one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, well, the summary is just not counting really. So five things and the welcome is not that much either. So it's really a few screens and then the system is installed. And that's just super easy, super fun, graphical, not technical, um, in contrast with the vanilla Arch Linux installation, which is awesome, right? But you don't have the time to install everything from scratch and build it up, everything up as a hobby, as a pastime. Well, this is your fast way of getting something, uh, an operating system after five minutes, all teamed, tweaked with icons, etc. So five screens, very easy. It's reliable to install with uh, Calamaris. And yes, it's always in development and there will be always issues. And I just tell you in, in, in perspective then, guys, Calamaris is free, right? It's just free. All we can do, if there is an error, is support these guys. And how can we do that? Put in our time and our energy and report it to gitcup.com slash Calamaris. Say, try this, try that, got this error. And then they'll fix it. It's simple as that, we have to help them and then you help us and everybody else together because it's not Calamari is not used in our clinics solely it's used in many 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 distribution of linux out there so that's what is about that's the the, the installation right so everything ends you reboot okay in the video somewhere here probably here i don't know you reboot oh we are already rebooted here uh, somewhere here we reboot right and then we um, have a system a fully operating system and there's only one thing to do well that's actually to enjoy Arch Linux and enjoying Arch Linux and that's our motto is to learn to have fun and to enjoy everything is available on the net and if it's not available the teacher is on its way, a video, an article, and there you go. Now, how do we work with these websites? Because it seems to be difficult for people to get around with this, this aspect of this, uh, these websites. The Arch Linux information is telling you guys, hey, there's a new ISO out, Arch Linux 1906 has been released, more info here, super important for you. Why? Every month we do things to our ISO, and there is a new version out, there's a new project out, etc. etc. All information concerning Arch Linux, what we did that month, is in here. So I think it's in your interest to actually glance over it diagonally and, and, and um, well, scroll down, I mean, and see what's in here. Is there anything useful for you, important for you? Then you check it out. So that's information wise, what is happening. And here is the information about who's who and the roots and the credits and so on, the partners. And here is the information for the beta tester. So what's happening now for the next release? Okay. And some blocks, brand design. Um, we can also, you can add, um, you can uh, become a kind of beta tester. Our Linux auditing group means that we put our ISOs already online before the official release and you can test it anyway. Some pictures, third party people telling uh, how good it is and articles and the reviews. Where can you download it? Of course, if you can afford it, we appreciate donation. It's um, of course motivating to receive money so we can actually buy better servers and all that and um, provide you with a better service to download, for instance. And facts are here and eventually if you want to contact me, but there are other ways, there's YouTube, Facebook, and so on, social media, Discord channel, uh, also good. So that's Arch Linux information. 
The next one is arclix.com. This is actually started for phase one. And phase one is our, our ISO, is the one with XFC Openbox i3. So whatever you'll find up here is going to contain these three desktops, XFC Openbox i3, but also anything out of the box related, anything Linux related, anything that goes over all the desktops at all. It, it, it covers everything, right? So that's what this is going to be. We ask you, we suggest that you go and have a look at the start here and go over the menu, but it's up to you to find your way around. It's uh, divided into categories, to menus, and the last one if we have added is now this calamaris and some fixes maybe. If things are, are if there are errors on your system, we get the errors too. What happens? We make an article, we say, oh, that's the reason, that's the reason, that's how to fix it, done. And often it's just a human kind of thing that uh, the, and the builder or a maintainer of a script did a typo or something like that. And so things to fix will be posted here. No troubles, no frustration, quick answer, here's the fix, go on with your life. That's the point. So that's Arch Linux. Let's go to Arch Linux. Oh, sorry, we are now Arch Linux. Let's go back to ArchLinux.com. Oh, completely wrong. ArchLinux.com. So this was the big ISO, Openbox i3 XFCE. I switch normally like this. This is the Arch Linux D ISO. So we started with this bare ISO. Well, minimal ISO, let's call it like that. Um, and there you have Phase two, so the learning processes continue. You'll find it in the menus. These are articles that are for every desktop out there. And every desktop means these days 13 desktops, okay? 13 windows, let's say. Xmonad, Xqtile, those are all kind of desktops. And this is phase two, meaning you'll probably know what to do because of the fact that if you start with the Arch Linux ISO, big ISO, you boot up in XFCE, right? But this is all concerning XFCE as well. So this might be double in the other one as well, right? And Openbox and i3 articles are all just ready for you. 21 it seems here, but the numbering is strange and that's the reason for it. Again, start here, follow the order in the articles and you'll see why this ordering is so strange. Now, so phase two, three, four, and at some point in time, this four was still here, but the four, phase four is going to Arch Linux B, right? So the link is there and you move to Arch Linux B. The idea in phase four is to build your own ISO. And this just contains the building, no information about the desktops. All the information about the desktops are in here, Arch Linux D. All the information is here. The last one we developed is Qtile. Any question you may have on Qtile, it's here. You ask me a question, it's gonna be in here the answer, right? So that's how it works. The building process is just what it is. It's actually super simple. It's just a script, a text, run, done. And it's just on repeat. It's on repeat in the sense you can build Arch Linux, you can build Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B, all the different choices. And then we've thought about, hey, let's make a minimal version with less software, not three browsers, just one browser and so on. So we got all these and some information. So it's just a website containing information how to build these ISOs, the personal ISO, the one you like, the one where there is no, um, well, excess use of uh, browsers or where you add actually LibreOffice because LibreOffice is never included anywhere. So you wanna have an Office suite, well, this is, this is your thing then, or Arch Linux D or you install the Arch Linux ISO, the big one, and install sudo pacman s LibreOffice fresh. Done, it's installed as well. So it's lots of choices, a lot of freedom that we provide you, a lot of ways 
to get there, but remember that it's just one ISO, the Arco Linux ISO. All the rest is derivative, ghosts, images, right? It's how it works, how it is conceived. That's why we can have so many different versions because we say, take these Lego, Lego blocks, take these Lego blocks, bam, we got something else. We got a minimal version, right? Simple as that. All right, um, we're not finished. And then there's the Article Linux ISO website, which is going to start anytime soon. I always say that, never know when, but I do make articles on it, as you see already from time to time. In July 2019, here you see already an article, things that are about creating an ISO, so developing an Article Linux of your own. That's this thing. I want to have my own distribution. That's going to be this website. And there are already some information available for, well, the starters who want to venture this way. A lot of work, mind you, but very interesting to learn. Then um, we have also the form. Let's not forget that there's a form. Log in or register first, log in then. And it's also following our structures. I see a lot of structures, technical issues, assistance but it follows the phase one, the phase two, and three, and four. And we go to five in Arch Linux, and we have the Arco Linux ISO phase six. So it's generally an image of all the websites. And let's not forget Discord and all the social media, Facebook and so on. So this is, there is an application of course, but this is the browser. You can also use Discord this way. And um, that's great as well. And we're coming at the end of our video. So video number thousand. I hope it gave you some insights. What's in our minds as an Arc Linux team and thinking about team or speaking theme. I would like to thank my team members. And I would like also to thank all the beta testers, the Arc Linux beta testers at some point in time, if you're interested. There is a peak of work in the beginning of every month where we test the ISOs. But once you're accepted uh, in, then you'll get this blue color as you see, and then you're a beta tester. And this is our channel. So the idea is, well, guys, to keep out of it if you're not an official beta tester, but I want to keep it open as well. I want to see everybody, what the discussion is, what the problems is, what the issues are, and how we solve them and so on. So full, um, Disclosure, you can read and do anything, but not type in it. As long as you're not a beta tester, that's a little bit um, restricted. But I want you to follow up what we're doing. It's um, important that we're transparent. All right, that's it for me. I hope you like Arco Linux and um, I like it. It's an interesting project. It's a super uh, interesting project. Um, development for these past two years. If you look back, a thousand videos, two years of development, a lot has changed, a lot of has been developed. Now the last project is uh, an, uh, a new project, which I'll keep for another video. All right, cheers.